In this video, I'm going to talk about parts of a conditional statement. Um, basically, just going to talk about what a conditional statement is. A uh, conditional statement is your typical if-then statement. So a conditional statement is, is basically if-then. Okay, so if you have a sentence that either starts with if or has an if-then type of feeling to it, that's basically what we call a conditional statement. So what we're going to do here is we're going to identify the hypothesis and the conclusion of each conditional, okay, for, for each, each one of these conditional statements. Okay, so if today is Thanksgiving, then today is Thursday. Okay, now we're not we're not looking at the validity of this statement. This is actually a true statement. Not not really caring about that. But we're not looking at the validity. We're not, we don't care if it's right or wrong. We're just looking at what what the hypothesis and what the conclusion is. Okay, so now one one way to do this. Um, there's a couple of different ways you can label it out. Or one of the easy ways I have found is it, it, is if you just underline the hypothesis and then double underline the conclusion. That's a really quick way. If you just write out the sentence and then underline the hypothesis and then underline the conclusion, very quick, very effective, very efficient way of figuring out what the hypothesis and the conclusion is. Okay, so if today is Thanksgiving, so if the if part of the statement is always going to be your hypothesis. Okay, the if part of the statement is always going to be your hypothesis. The then part of the statement is going to be your conclusion. If something, then this is what happens. Okay, so your hypothesis and your conclusion. Okay, so in this case, if today is Thanksgiving Day, so right here, if today is Thanksgiving Day, there's your hypothesis. The if part of your sentence is always going to be your hypothesis. Then today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. One thing I should note, and one little mistake that I made, is that the if is not actually part of the hypothesis. After that, if, okay, today is Thanksgiving Day. There's your hypothesis. Then, after the then word is then your conclusion. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. This is the conclusion. The then and the if parts are not part of the conclusion or the hypothesis. Okay, just kind of clear that up a little bit. All right, so that's one. That's one example. That's one example of finding the hypothesis and conclusion. Next, a um, little, little different sentence here. A number is a rational number if it is an integer. Okay, again, we're not, we don't care about the validity of the statement. You don't have to really understand what's going on. It's helpful if you do understand what's going on, but we're not looking to see if it's a valid statement or not. We just want to know what the hypothesis and what the conclusion is. Right? So a number is a rational number if it is an integer. Now notice, the only clues that I have here is this word right here, if. Now notice, a conditional statement is an if-then statement, but as I read this, I don't see any thens. A number is rational number if it is an integer. There's no thens. There's nothing here. So, but what we do is we use the absence of the then to kind of figure out what the conclusion is. Let's figure out what the hypothesis is first, because I do see an if here. I do see an if. If it is an integer, if the number that we're talking about, if the number that we're talking about is an integer, then that number is a rational number. This part over here is going to be our conclusion. Okay, then a number is the rational number. No, notice here a number. This is just that. That's just a, a, a flavor. That's just a, a little added. So I added text, so I know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a number here. So this is a little bit of added text here. It is a rational number. This is my conclusion. This is the part of the sentence that says this is what it is. If the if a number is an integer, then that number is a rational number. Okay, hypothesis over here conclusion here. So that, that's a little bit of a different example where actually the hypothesis and conclusion are switched. You actually state what you think is true first and then you state your hypothesis. You state your conclusion first and then your hypothesis, a little backwards way of doing a conditional statement. But anyway, um, those are two different examples, two very basic examples of what a conditional statement is. Again, a conditional statement is just an if-then statement, very basic, it's just an if-then statement. So what you want to do is look for your ifs and look for your thens. So in your examples, look for your ifs, look for your thens. Or in this case, look for your ifs, which tells you where the hypothesis is, and then your conclusion is here. So again, the conclusion could be at the beginning, could be at the end. Just kind of depends on how the sentence is worded. Anyway, uh, those are the different parts of a conditional statement. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope, uh, hope it was informative.